Okay, today we're going to start doing, we're putting together my Agama 319E, you know, the parts right here. We're going to start with the, we're going to start taking apart the, um, the, what you might call it, the, sorry. We'll take apart the bearings. I'll show you how we do that. I'm not going to show you the whole video, but I just do the important parts. We'll take the bearings, I got my jewelry cleaner right there, you can get that at um, Walmart. Walmart. Walmart or eBay or not eBay but um Amazon they sell them I got this thing for like 19 bucks at Walmart over in in Hawaii but you probably maybe get them cheaper somewhere at um in the mainland at Walmart or you go to just a local store Target something something they might have even at TJ Maxx like that so I'll show you how they do make sure oh, not, sorry about that let me get the video going I'll show you how we give we, I take it apart and get everything together take a few off and I'm gonna do the whole thing but I just gonna show you what I do um this helps keep the bearings clean obviously um you just stick your stick the your exacto knife inside pull off this carefully gently pull off the plastic the dust cover on it sort it around I don't know if you guys could see that I'll try to do it again so make sure you wipe all this stuff down but there's in from the previous from the previous so, so stick your stick your exacto knife inside right here in the groove you pull up slowly work your way around flip it like this all the way around and it'll just come right out like that okay check the spinning make sure it spins good throw it in your do that with all of them that's what i do you know yeah you could buy new bearings but you know if you like you try to save some money this is one way to do it it's tedious, but it it does keep the thing your bearings clean all the time. I mean, I got a whole, I got a whole whole bunch of bearings I bought from um, what you might call it from JT Bearings, JTBearing.com, and they're good. But I, you know, I mean, I just replace them as needed. You know, sometimes, sometimes they just get all crusty and you can't do nothing, especially when we race over here. Near the salt water, so so our our track is real terrible on salt water. But yeah, I just pull all the caps off of every one of them, or the dust caps. Just take them off a little bit. You don't gotta stick them all the way in just a little bit. Just put them in, but maybe tip the tip of the thing, the tip of the things out, and lift it up and start turning it around, and it, it'll just break the seal and come off like this. Okay. I recommend you. You wipe them all down too. No, those um, these these plastic dust covers. Okay, wipe them all down. Get them all, get them all cleaned up. These are uh, wet rag, simple green. You can even do it like this to protect your hand, your fingers. You don't want to stab your finger. It should be as safe as possible doing this thing. Oops, you see that? Just twist it, turn it, and then it just comes right off like that. Make sure you keep track of your bearings. Your bearing, your your bearing, the kind, your bearing um seals or covers, the dust covers on the rubber dust covers, because they come in different sizes. I got one of mine mixed up, so one of my for my break, I don't have a, I don't have a what you might call it for it a dust cover on one of them. So I just laid a bearing down. I started, I didn't put a, but I found a replacement bearing for it. But so. Yeah, well, that's good enough for that. I'll stop the video now. I'll come back on when I get to the next part of the video. Okay, thanks for watching. Right, we'll continue in a minute. Sorry about that.